Okay, so this is my Honest Project, The Knights of Oz. Uh, this is just a playground area, it's not a full level. Uh, I was hoping to have full animations in at this point, but these are still the dummy animations, unfortunately. Uh, but I think they still give a sense of what I'm going for with the game, that sort of bouncy, energetic um, form. And it also gives a, a sense of scale of what the character is going to be like and what... Um, the world proportionally we will be like. So you might see there that the, the days just turned to night and coming back to day again. Um, I don't know if you noticed but the street lights also come on at night time and they come on in a random order to simulate how street lights come on in real life, how they come on in phases and waves, not all at once. Um, yeah and we've got the cars just moving up and down um, pretty simply. Um, they reach the end of the track, destroy and respawn back at the start again, um, which I could utilise that sort of mechanic um, to save on resources to simulate more traffic than there actually is. Uh, there you go, you can see the lights coming on now and coming on in different uh, waves. Um, which There's also button prompts that appear uh, contextually relevant. I'll just pick these items up. Um, you can see in my backpack I've now got items. If I do damage to myself, I can use these items to heal myself. Um, yeah. I also have a, well, there's enemies here at the minute. Uh, the sprites are not available for the enemies because I was using um, sprites from a different game. Uh, but also they wouldn't package, uh, they kept creating errors at the sprites in particular. So I had to remove them from the game files to, to actually package the game. Um, yeah, they also drop items randomly using the same inventory system as I've got. Um, the chest over here also uses the same inventory system. Um, and that inventory system could be used for shopkeepers as well which is what I originally planned, hence the, the money value in the bottom right hand corner. Um, there's also money pickups that we can get, just like over here, and it gives us some money. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the inventory system was quite an arduous task to create because it is very robust, it is very adaptable, and it is multifunctional. Um, there's a wide range of uses that I could use it for, even to the point of being able to trade items with other with NPCs. Um, created a dialogue system for signposts, just for simple interactions, but a deeper uh, NPC interaction. Uh, this works off an Excel spreadsheet where it calls in the data from the cells, uh, dependent on NPCs, um, serial number, and then. Um, propagating the text fields with the data that corresponds to the correct NPC and the correct NPC conversation. For example, an NPC could give a quest and that's its first conversation. And then um, once the quest is complete, we can ask the game to look for the second conversation for that NPC within the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, this means that we can not only have deep and uh, branching um, conversations with NPCs where a player could choose responses and then get a, a conversation number from that response. It also allows us to have completion um, dialogue for quests. Uh, yeah, so other than that, um, yeah, you can see the animations. We've got different different sort of things that we can do. We've got a dodge for, for more varied combat. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an action adventure RPG game. Um, this is just a sort of playground area, but it gives an idea of the world as well. But there is a more detailed version that I created for my poster um, that, that has more assets in there. Um, 
I think this gives a really good sense of uh, what I'm going for with the game um, and, and the style. I like the, the fixed camera. I think it just has a unique quality to it, it has a unique look to it. Um, I can show you the, the blur effect here as well on the car. So when the camera gets close to an object, it blurs it out. And I just think that adds, really adds the focus onto the player um, rather than the foreground objects. But I love playing with um, the foreground and uh, things like this. I, I thought this looked really, really quite cool and that we can see the character still through through the gaps. Um, I just think that's a, that's a really new, unique way of, of, of viewing the world. So yeah, uh, so I've got show the items. Um, yeah, we can gain experience points. The bottom left corner, blue bar. Uh, when we level up, uh, my health increases as well. Um, but that could be other stats as well, like attack, defense. Uh, I also was working on a equipment system where it was based on adding sprites over the top of the main sprite, so you could have an, a helmet or a new sword that looked differently and had different stats and bolstered the, the, the player's stats that way as well. Um, yeah, what else is there to show? Um, oh, that there is, um, I was working on aerial combat as well, so he sort of freezes in, in the air whilst he attacks. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed this project and I really wish I'd I'd put more time into it and I had more time to put into it. I wish that it was the sole focus of my of my third year rather than the other other projects as well, which severely detracted from what I could do with this because of uh, my struggles with that project and trying to get that moving forward. Um, but I think I'm going to continue with this project as well.